KUAM News Headlines is presented by Calvo's Insurance, serving Guam for 80 years. Matson, gold sponsor of the 2018 Micro Games in Yap. The all-new 2018 Kona by Hyundai, available at Cars Plus. IP&E, fueling excellence. McDonald's of Guam, I'm loving it. And King's Restaurant, located in Timuning and Dededo. Always open, always local. Coming up next, we've got the latest with the weather straight ahead. And could it be a case of arson? A fire destroys the Dededo family's home. Plus, the latest with the AG's investigation into the Chamorro Land Trust Commission. These stories and more coming up right now on your news leader. Half a day and good evening. Well, it's a good idea to stay indoors tonight as Tropical Depression 10W continues its track towards the Marianas. Good day, everyone. Jason Salas here with the latest on what Mother Nature has in store for our island. According to our friends at the National Weather Service, the storm known as Tropical Depression 10W has a closest point of approach expected to be somewhere around midnight tonight, heading into the early part of Thursday morning. Damaging winds could be expected between 40 miles per hour and 45 miles per hour, gusting as high as 50 miles per hour. Once again, that happening sometime around midnight and lasting into the wee hours of Thursday. Now keep in mind the worst conditions are expected to be towards the tail end of the storm as the system moves away from the island. You can expect heavy rains and possible flash flooding as a result of that. It is a good idea obviously to stay off the island roads in preparation for the passage of the storm. If for some reason you have to be out, please obviously you want to drive extremely carefully on the roads at this time. If you have not taken safety precautions around your home, now would be the opportune time to do so. Guam at the current moment remains in condition of readiness level 4 and under a tropical storm warning as do our friends up north in Rota. As for our other neighbors in the NMI, Saipan and Tinian are under a tropical storm watch. You can make sure to check out KUM.com or the KUM News mobile app for iOS and Android for the very latest storm updates. Back to you in the studio. This 4th of July for one Dededo family forced to pick up the pieces after their home was set on fire. Here's more. It was more than just a stormy night for one family in Dededo, whose home on Chala Natibu was set ablaze. We don't do anything with this kind of shop. We don't know what to do. It's like we're homeless, sleeping outside the parking lot with my baby. Joylene says in total there were eight people living in the two-bedroom, one-bath, wood and tin structure. Three adults and four kids, including a 10-year-old boy and her one-year-old baby. Luckily, no one was injured. She says her family was with the neighbors after she saw her landlord blocking the road, allegedly yelling and cursing. GPD and GFD did respond to the scene at 8 p.m. Tuesday night. Spokesperson Kevin Riley says police were told the fire was intentionally set, but they're still investigating the cause. Joylene recalls seeing her landlord and his friend speed away moments before the home burned down. It's like it's, it's trying to scare us. So I just get, I just got scared. I call the cops. I call 911. We followed the cops in. We just saw the bright of the fire. So that's the time we know it burned. The family of eight lost everything in this fire, urging the community for their help. What did you lose in the fire? My clothes and my shoes for my school. If you'd like to donate, you can call the Dededo Mayor's Office at 632-5203. And the AG says her review of 101 Chamorro Land Trust leases in Barragata Heights is almost done, and she won't say if any criminal wrongdoing has been discovered. Chris Barnett has more. Attorney General Elizabeth Barrett Anderson telling KUAM News her office's review of Chamorro Land Trust leases in the controversial Barragata Heights area near completion. KUM News investigative reports led to major scrutiny and calls to reform the agency after it was revealed employees of the Department of Land Management and their relatives 
awarded leases in questionable ways in the coveted Barragata Heights area. The AG's office seizing several boxes of documents related to the controversial area in early May after KUM News reports blew the story wide open. DLM calling on DPW to clear an access road without proper permitting and employees and their family members switching places in line and appearing to be fast-tracked for choice lots in the area which boasts million-dollar views. So right now we're not uh, interviewing anybody outside of the documents themselves, so it's a complete document review uh, to see what the documents tell us. And in what it tells us, it also gives us an idea of what it's not telling us. Uh, and maybe that's where investigations come in. in. The chain of events that follow the Barragata Heights CLTC issue, DLM Director Michael Borja, who signed off on several of his relative CLTC leases, reprimanded by CLTC Board Chair Pika Farron and Land Management Deputy Director David Camacho banned from having anything to do with the Chamorro Land Trust. The AG also recently calling for a full-time administrator for the Chamorro Land Trust. And she tells KUAM News calling for that administrator was not necessarily a vote of no confidence in Borja. I think it's an indictment of the system uh, because uh, I, I don't think you can just blame one individual. Uh, it's a whole process that was down there. And uh, there was also criticism of the current commission members. Why didn't uh, they notice this and why didn't they say something? While Senator Frank Huggan has called for the land trust to be put under the leadership of a receiver, Bar Anderson declined to comment on whether or not she thinks a receiver is a good idea. Uh, whether it's a receiver or it's uh, an administrative director, we need somebody fresh with new eyes to come in there and to assist the commission. While the review is nearing completion, Barrett Anderson would not say if any criminal intent or wrongdoing was discovered in the process of reviewing thousands of pages of Chamorro Lantra's documents. Oh, that's a great question, Chris. Chris, I'm not <laughs> answering that. For Guam's News Network, Chris Barnett reports. It's an issue that's been plaguing our island for years, drug addiction. And now officials from the Guam Behavioral Health and Wellness Center are saying the agency is better equipped to treat addicts with the addition of a new drug specialist. But will that be enough to finally fix this ongoing issue? Salome Vuki reports. With the rise of drug-related issues on island, the Guam Behavioral Health and Wellness Center is bolstering efforts in order to help the community. Now meeting international standards, their newly accredited rehab facilities help GBHWC meet the community's needs. Revamp programs are just one method the agency is trying to help combat drug addiction, says Deputy Director Benny Pinala. And so is equipping GBHWC with experienced staff, like Dr. Abner Pasatempo. This new psychiatrist that we just brought on board uh, is um, experienced with uh, uh, drugs and uh, medication, mm -hmm. and he's also a forensic psychiatrist, so we're very excited that uh, uh, he's on board with Guam Behavioral Health. Additionally, their day outpatient program has seen an increase since its start only a month ago. With the, the Manhattan Mandania Task Force uh, being very active as they are, uh, that increases you know our workload. Mm -hmm. So you, you know they're going out, they're making a lot of arrests, and as a result, you know the uh, courts are referring a lot of those clients to us. Supervised by paraprofessionals, the program also helps patients with medication-assisted treatment. Meantime, GBHWC ultimately expects an increase in drug-related activity as the holidays come. There's always going to be that increase during the holidays, you know, and uh, uh, folks should be mindful that uh, the police are out there. Mm -hmm. uh, they will be, you know, having checkpoints and uh, you know, you, you're going to get caught if you're, you know, partaking uh, a little bit too much. Mm -hmm. You know, so being very cautious out there this weekend, especially for the 4th of July weekend. The Guam Behavioral Health and Wellness Center reminds residents to have a safe holiday and encourages them to live a healthy lifestyle. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Salome Vuki. Stick around for more news here on Primetime. You're watching KUAM. There are more ways to experience KUAM news than any other source on Guam. Download the KUAM news app for your Apple or Android device for 24-7 news, sports, videos, weather, streaming with KUAM radio, and important news alerts. And stay connected at home with Guam's first app for Apple TV. All available now from the App Store. A simple handshake. That's all Jake Calvo needed when he started his company. 
Today, 80 years later, we like to say thank you to all of you who have taken our hand in trust. Thank you to the dreamers. Thank you to the realists. Thank you to the family-oriented. Thank you to the entrepreneurial. Thank you to those climbing the corporate ladder and to the ones starting a new life together. Thank you to the traditionalists and the edgy, to the young at heart and the old souls. Thank you to the daring, to the protective, to the practical. Thank you to the hopeful, to all of you from all of us, our deepest, happiest, and infinite thanks. 80 years here for you. 80 years thanks to you. Calvo's Insurance, a legacy of trust. A strong economy depends on a strong middle class. Businesses need help to survive in these tough times and new industries are needed. As your governor, I will propose tax cuts for small businesses. We will streamline government operations to create a more business-friendly environment. We will invest in infrastructure and in our people by expanding opportunities to learn much-needed trades. I'm in to help get us there, and I humbly ask for your vote. I'm Leon Guerrero, and I approve this message. In this divided world, there are still things that unite us. Great music, thrilling games, and the love for that perfect burger. Ruby Tuesday Guam, for the love of burgers menu for a limited time get an amazing burger for just $11.99 lunchtime at Ruby Tuesday Guam Why turn a meal into a snack when you can turn a snack into a meal? A three cheese blend pico de gallo, double the marinated steak and a medium drink. At least they're cute. Taco Bell's new steak nachos box. It's kind of a big meal. There are more ways to experience Guam via KUAM News, giving you what you want, when you want, and how you want it. From smart devices, Alexa, what's in the news? Here's your flash briefing. Over the web, on mobile, on streaming platforms, with immersive, interactive formats, and via social media where it's more than just content, it's conversation. More ways to keep you informed and entertained whenever you want it, wherever you are, on whatever device you're using. Welcome back. World War II reparation payments could be out as soon as next month. The deadline has passed and the War Claims Commission is now processing more than 3,000 applications. Victims of wartime atrocities have waited a long time. It's been more than 70 years since the Japanese invasion. Nestor Lakanto reports. Congresswoman Madeleine Berdalia was the author of the war reparations legislation. She provided the update while announcing that war survivor Irene Paris Ploke Scambaluri will lay the wreath at the tomb of the unknown soldier during the annual Washington, D.C. Liberation Day celebration. The checks, we, we think, will be coming in probably August, September, October, when they'll be receiving their checks. So it's not, it's not a lot of money. But it certainly is something, That's some something. type of compensation to recognize what they went through. Bordalia says like other Guam delegates before her, she was met with resistance in Congress for war claims reparations, in particular for a section that includes children of war victims. I was told by Senator McCain that he would not accept the bill. He was a chairman of the armed services of the Senate side. He would not accept this bill with that section in it. 
And I think what made my mind up, I couldn't reach everybody, but I certainly reached some of the leaders. And they said, go with what you have. If you wait another two or three years, we'll all be gone. Funding for the war claims payments will come from Guam's annual Section 30 funds. That's the tax money collected from federal employees here that is remitted every year to Gov Guam. Bordalio says congressional rules require that an existing funding source be identified for any appropriations. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Lacanto. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency is requiring stormwater handling improvements at Cobras Marine. The feds re reached an agreement with Cobras Marine Corps to reduce discharges of oil, metals and other contaminants into Abra Harbor. EPA inspected the facility in March 2017 and found multiple violations of the Clean Water Act. The violations included discharge of industrial stormwater without a permit, failure to properly maintain containment berms, failure to control sandblast grit and paint particles, improper storage of used oil, and in inadequate controls for leaking oil. Cabras Marine will file a final report with the EPA documented completion of the work required under the settlement. And for some, it's the biggest day of their lives. And no, we're not talking about getting married. It's a different kind of commitment, one of the United States of America. In a very special ceremony at the District Court of Guam on Tuesday, 31 men and women took the oath of allegiance. Crystal Paco reports. Meet America's newest citizens, and just in time for Independence Day. Uh, who more which? Who more which? I have heretofore been a subject or citizen. Yes. 31 men and women, majority from the Philippines, took the oath of allegiance on Tuesday during a special 4th of July naturalization ceremony at the District Court of Guam. And I'm proud to be American. Among the crowd of newly minted citizens, a father and daughter. 21-year-old Catherine Sabal Kapati, an aspiring engineer, grinned from ear to ear as she stood by her biggest inspiration, her dad, Victoriano Payumo Kapati Jr. Because of him, actually. He, was, um, he studied engineering while he was in his teen, but he wasn't able to continue because of financial problems. But um, and he really inspires me to become an engineer, so I wanted to be like him someday. For the younger Kapati, U.S. citizenship means greater educational opportunities for her as a student. It's easy for me to travel, especially for my research, or like I want to go higher degree from my um, engineering program. The Pampanga natives didn't know they'd fulfill their American dream together. It's very exciting and it's really like a happy day for, us, for both of us. Yeah, I didn't really didn't know until yesterday that I would be with him today. Also naturalized on Tuesday, Yusman Sani from Indonesia. He met his wife while working in Saipan. They've been married with kids for nearly two decades, but he's last in his family to become a U.S. citizen. It's very hard to describe right now. No? It's, it's just happy, yeah, very happy to be part of the United States citizen. The special day was capped off with a keynote address from U.S. District Court of Puerto Rico Chief Judge Gustavo Gelpi. Uh, we've seen now that immigration is getting harder, uh, with more requirements, uh, so all of you have passed the test. You are citizens because you choose to be citizens, and that is probably even more important and that moment. Uh, and sometimes us were born by, you know, U.S. citizens by birth, we don't recognize the importance of that citizenship. You're also just as American. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Crystal Paco. Well, sports is next, but first, here's your island weather.
make every day a plus. Where can you find a burger inspired by flavors from near and far that mixes the smoky with the sass of the South? Combines the sweetness of summer with the tang of the country for savory, sizzling, unexpected flavors. Well, you can find it at McDonald's. The new Bacon Smokehouse Burger. It's the newest flavor of the signature crafted recipes by McDonald's. Enjoy Eats on the Streets at the 6th Annual Guam Barbecue Block Party. Head down to Pleasure Island, Tumon on Saturday, July 7th from 5.30 to 10 p.m. for live entertainment, a classic car show, hot diggity dog, hot dog eating contest, and see who will win the island's biggest barbecue competition. Admission is free. This GBB signature event is presented by T Galleria by DFS, Plaza Shopping Center, Outrigger Guam Beach Resort, and Ducentani Guam Resort. Making Guam a better place to live, work, visit, and barbecue. We're celebrating our 135th anniversary today, both in the outlying regions on which we hub and also here in Guam itself. It means so much to our team here in Guam. It means a lot to us in the Mats and Management team because what it says is we're here to stay. It's a real physical manifestation of our commitment to this region. It's so important that we hire locally, we develop talent locally, we train locally. What's been a wonderful addition to our approach there is that many of the people who started off in Guam have gone off into significant leadership roles elsewhere in the company. This is our headquarters here in Guam in Micronesia. And when we talk about putting down our roots, it's not just doing business, it's about everything we do with our friends, our customers, and our employees. I believe that nobody can replicate what we do, and that's why we have such a great team and such a great service and why we're successful. This is our home, this is our life, and we're happy to make a difference in everyone else's life. KUAM Sports is presented by Triple J. What's up, Guam? Dave Delgado here for KUAM Sports. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to register now for two fundraising events on Saturday. First off, the Guards Annual 2K 5K Stroll. And then later in the day, you can help fundraising efforts with the golf tournament for autism community together. Check it out. The Guam National Guard 2K 5K Run Walk Stroll takes place Saturday, July 7th at GPO. The run celebrates 37 years of service and sacrifice. The course will start and finish at the Guam Premier Outlet in Tumuning. Showtime is at 5 in the morning with go time scheduled for 6. You can register at Cars Plus, Goody Sporting Goods, and Mark's Merchandise. Bibs can also be purchased from Guam Air or Army National Guard units. There will be lots of refreshments and raffle prizes. Dry fit shirts to the first 2,400 finishers. All proceeds to benefit the Guam National Guard's Family Readiness Groups. For more info, call 735-0487-7880853 or 735-0409. Out of Bounds Golf Club's third annual charity golf tournament to benefit autism community together is scheduled for Saturday, July 7th at the Starts Guam Golf Resort. Showtime is at 10 in the morning. Start time scheduled for 12. It's a four-man stable forward format. Three men's divisions, one women's division. $100 green fees, food and beverages on the course. Ditty bags for all players. Banquet after the tournament. For more info, call Anthony Uggen at 987-8669 or Dwayne Paul at 687-7777. You can also email guahan16 at gmail.com or Dwayne at guamhome.com. All right, don't forget anything sports, hit me up, sho at kuam.com. That's it for sports. We're back right after this. Why turn a meal into a snack when you can turn a snack into a meal? A three cheese blend pico de gallo, double the marinated steak and a medium drink. At least they're cute. Taco Bell's new steak nachos box. It's kind of a big meal. Introducing the Alpha Plus app. Pay insurance premium online using the pay feature. Get estimate quotes for auto, home, commercial, and other insurance offered by Alpha insurers. View our list of exclusive deals available at our partner merchants. 
So download the all new Alpha Plus app on Google Play or the App Store. Alpha Plus, make every day a plus. Smiling is a natural response to joy, happiness, and excitement. Your smile reveals a lot about who you are. A healthy, beautiful smile can brighten your appearance and be an invitation to conversation and friendship. It is often one of the first things people notice about you. Now, thanks to the advancements in dentistry, you can have the smile you have always wanted, giving you an improved smile that looks and feels great. My silver fillings that I have, they're getting older in my mouth and I need to replace them. So I've started to do that and I've replaced them with the white fillings and I've had really great success with that. It looks good, they feel natural, and it kind of goes hand in hand with the bleaching. I want my, a white look all around my mouth. In this divided world, there are still things that unite us. Great music, thrilling games, and the love for that perfect burger. Ruby Tuesday Guam, for the love of burgers menu. For a limited time, get an amazing burger for just $11.99. Lunchtime at Ruby Tuesday Guam. When you purchase a vehicle from our dealerships, we give back to the American Cancer Society and Guam Cancer Care. With your help, together, we've raised over $400,000, giving local cancer patients a gift of more anniversaries, more birthdays, more years, more days. Together, we're giving them the gift of time. Triple J, customers first. And before we close out the news tonight, our latest round of birthday shout outs from the Cold Stone Creamery Birthday Club. Happy 4th of July and happy birthday, Kim Chargalop. And a very happy 13th birthday to Shanika St. Nicholas. Blessings and many more on your special day from your familia. And a happy 13th birthday to our beautiful fireworks baby, Amanda Di Maria. Happy 4th of July birthday to our key and Rookie with lots of love from mom, dad, brothers Ezra and Tegan, great grandma Lu Wang, and the familia. Happy birthday, Curtis J. Camacho, and a very, very happy birthday to Lauren Marie Paulino Phillips. Remember, you can be a part of the Cold Stone Creamer Birthday Club by registering online on KUAM.com. Please make sure to include with your photo your name and birth date. And that's going to do it for your Independence Day newscast. Have a safe and happy 4th of July. Also, be sure to keep it tuned to KUAM for the latest as we track the storm. Good night. Closed captioning is brought to you by IT&E.